just come into one of our favourite places in South Australia and we're about to book into the caravan park. We'll just pull over here and just yeah. make sure we're right to get in because we are a little bit early yet. We would like to do a bit of a shout out to all the people that came up and introduced themselves to us, letting us know that they love our videos. It really makes it great for us. This is a very neat and tidy caravan park. And we've scored, well, what we think is one of the best spots in the park, right in the far corner. Turn around, we're going to back into this spot over here in the corner. That's where we're going. We're all set up, and the boat's ready to go for in the morning and we can keep an eye on the water conditions right from our site. Oh, tide's out a long way, look at that. Holy dooly, I've never seen it out so far. Wow. Look at the amount of cars here when you get such a beautiful day. Wow. Everybody goes boating at Smoky Bay. There's quite a few cars there. And ours is parked right down the end. And guess who forgot his hat? Uh, Chris has just gone back for a walk together. She got halfway down to the ramp and then realised that someone didn't get their hat. So she's gone back to get it. Forgot me hat. Hey. <laughs> further out, eh? Alright, we'll go right out there. When the conditions are this good, we try and take the opportunity to find a bit of fresh ground. Places where we haven't fished before. Yeah. Oh, we'll have a crack in a bit closer. It's only been five, five or ten minutes since the last check, so I doubt that we'll get any, but you never know. Oh, yes. Yep, he's a good one. Nice one. Yeah. Oh, get in your buddy. <laughs> You keep, scare me sometimes. We'll keep the pots in and yeah. we'll try fishing down there a little bit further. Yeah. We might drop the pots down there too because it looks like we're going to grab around. Yeah. Like, that was only, I don't even think that was 10 minutes. Yeah, that was only about 10 minutes. Yeah. It was, yeah. Not long. Oh, 
a nice one. Yeah, awesome. Geez, they must be thick here, eh, to be able to get them in that short space of time. Yeah. So that's five. Oh, Willie Weather's got a bit to answer for, isn't he? Oh. It's supposed to be a uh, 14 kilometre an hour wind today. Look at it. Closer to 40, I think. I think so, it's heavy. Yep, another big one. Oh, good job. You don't, you don't catch crab like this in Queensland, do you? Like, you just don't get them that quick. They always get caught around the flipper, don't they? Yeah, around the swimmer. I mean, that's... Three crabs in, in ten minutes out of three pots. Plus we already had a few to start with. It's not bad crabbing, eh? Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, we've got to take a couple back for Ali. The oh, owner, do you? Owner of the Caribbean Park, so I promised her a couple. Oh, well, good. So we'll take her a few back and we might even have a go at doing some sweet chilli crab with the blue swimmers. Yeah, we did that once before and that was, that was, was real good. Pretty delicious. It was. Righto, let's go see if we can catch some fish. Yeah, it'll be nice. <laughs> Alright, another grab the one to check. Oh, she's just getting rough. Yeah. Well, what have we fished for now? About 10 minutes. Never even got a bite, so we thought we might have changed spot again. But we're going to do that. Oh, bugger. Oh, I'm no. Look at him go. Oh, no. <laughs> he was on the edge of the pot. The pot came apart. Look. Oh, bugger it. Oh, the pot did come apart. In the boat. Feels heavy. I'd say there'd be one in this. Yeah, another one. Nice big one, too. Yeah, he is. A lot of weed. Yeah. They are so pretty. The colours on these are real good. Cool. We only bought the three pots out with us today. Oh, I don't think we got any big this time on this one. Nothing? Oh yeah. Only a little fella though, he can go back. Oh yeah. He's probably legal but send him back. We'll get plenty of big ones, there's no point keeping the stuff that's just legal. Oh, he's a big one. He's a horse. He's beautiful. That's a bloody good crab, that one. All right, well, we haven't done too good with the fish today, but we're just trolling back and we're getting a few squid. So we thought we'd better film a bit of this because at the moment, uh, that's our, our bucket of squid. And I love squid, fresh squid. Deep fried, absolutely beautiful. Must be about 10 in there, Yeah, it'd be 10, at least 10 in there now. So we're going to get a few more. I think the bag limit is 30, but we're not going to go that silly. You know, if we can get 16, that'll be lovely, because I'll eat a few for dinner tonight. But this is how we do it, just nice and steady, trolling along, motoring gear, just idling, and just keep jigging your rod. Yep, Chris is on to another one. They're a little tacky, but yeah, they're still tasty. Oh, you bugger! <laughs> Once they go white, that's it, they're dead, they can't squirt any more ink. Oh, she's got another one. Yeah, 
nice to me that rag. I'll clean that up before I open the lid and it goes everywhere. We're getting a few in there now. Geez, that flash and jig really works good. Just yeah. the jig. Can you see it? Yeah, just if you put it over that way, you can yeah, just give it a little shake. You can see it's got like a little flasher inside. Geez, they seem to love that. You've caught four in the last, the last four you've actually caught. I haven't caught any in the last probably four or five. Oh, that's a good size one. Look at the rod. Yeah. Got a fair bend in that rod. Oh. Up and in. Oh, that's a nice big one. Oh. I can't get him down. <laughs> I can't get him out of you. Oh my god. Oh, this is in the way. You're right outside of the noise to lease, so I'm yeah. gonna have to put it in the gear and oh. get us out of here. Otherwise we'll end up in amongst the oysters. Look at the mess. Oh. <laughs> I think you've got him now. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yucky. That's a nice squid though. He's huge. That's the size I like. Might have to do some calamari rings for dinner tonight. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. My turn. <laughs> Your turn. Yeah. Feels like it's a good one too. Uh, not that big. Probably about the average of what we get. They might even be a little bit smaller. Oh, your face man towards me! Oh my god! Dirty little butter! Oh yeah! Look at that! Oh, they're bloody mongrel things, aren't they? Well, just getting ready to start cooking the crabs. Uh, we're keeping four out to do sweet chilli crab, and there's five there that'll go in the boiler. And look right there. That's a good sized crab, that. That would be, I reckon, 15 centimetres notch to notch. And they've got to be 11. And they have beautiful colours on them down here. The blues are so blue and so bright. This trip we've been doing a bit of experimenting on different ways to cook our crabs. Sometimes we boil them and sometimes we break them apart and steam them. Beautiful. That pot fits in there so good. And that's a, like a 20 or 25 dollar pot out of, I think it's Big W. It just works perfect with the cut-off gas bottle. There's no wasted heat. Well, there we go. Another five good blue swimmer crabs. Going in the fridge. Oh, I can fit them in there. If, if they'll fit. And then you've got a few more here. Yeah, four there to do tonight. For chilli crab. Sweet chilli crab, yep. That'll be nice. And you got one here from yesterday. Oh, yesterday's crab, yeah. That we'll yeah. eat this afternoon. We'll have a snack this afternoon, yeah. That'll be nice. <sighs> yeah, our fridge is getting a bit full. <sighs> full of there crab. Full of crab. Well, that's it. Sweet chilli crab. My way. Alright, we're out at Smoky Bay. Uh, ready to go out for another fish. The winds are going to come up today again in the afternoon, so hopefully we'll get a few fish this morning. Now, that's the rock wall at the boat ramp at Smokey. 
Uh, supposed to get pretty windy today, so we've oh, just had a nice bite. I think we even got that on camera. Oh, and another one. Oh, a little bit of action happening. And I bet you that's all I get. Thirty-two, thirty-three, maybe thirty-four. He got himself off one and on the other. He did. Jeez, I couldn't have timed that any better, could I? <laughs> hey? That's pretty good. Now, we use the old faithful measurer. Okay, well he might be, yeah, be thirty-three. 33. Well, oh, well, that's a start. Where's your other one going? Yeah, I think so. Might have, might have found where the whiting are, eh? Oh, Finally. Yeah. I haven't even got mine in. <laughs> Another whiting. Ah, oh, awesome. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh. oh. just got him. <laughs> hey. That's awesome. He fell off in the boat. Thank goodness. Alright, I might uh, try and put mine in now. Yeah, can you hurry up and catch a fish? Okay, <laughs> yeah, good, thanks. I just caught one of the things I absolutely detest. Nothing more I hate than these things. I don't even like getting close to them. There he goes. Oh, squirt of ink. Yeah. And he's gone. Oh, I hate them things. They are the most creepy alien-like creatures. I just can't stand them. They just they give me the chills. <laughs> Eleven whiting. Eleven King George. The keepers. Best one, probably about 35. And we've got a couple of the 31s. So, and everything in between, so we're just going to scale them in the scaler bag. Get through all the slime and the scales. back in from fishing we got 11 whiting and a couple of squid and two crabs but these are the squid we caught yesterday I just did them up in salt and pepper oh no that's lunch plate full of squid salt and pepper squid and plate full of chips what more could you want if you like our video content please hit the like and subscribe it helps build our channel a bit more Pretty rough out there today. Um, it's absolutely howling wind this afternoon. Um, the mornings have been quite nice. But because it's so windy, I thought I'll catch up on a bit of editing. Now, while I was sitting here, actually just had a knock on the door from a lovely lady two doors up. And she said, do I like deep fried oysters? And that is one of my favorites. And she just brought me over a bowl of deep fried oysters. You know the weather's going to be not real nice when you're the only boat going out to the boat ramp. The only silly buggers. <laughs> and we've been out fishing today. We went out and braved the wind and we came home with 13 nice King George, a couple of good thumpers, 
around a 36, 37 centimetres. A lot of them are just around that 31, 32. These are all been in the scaler bag. So we've just got to knock the fillets off them now. I'm just doing a little bit of uh, pickled fish. Oh, you? Drop your fish in, that's raw. Give it 24 hours in the fridge. Absolutely beautiful. All right, there's our two jars of pickled fish. I made one really heavy duty jar. We're gonna share that with the lovely girls and the lovely people beside them tomorrow afternoon. And they brought me over some deep fried oysters yesterday and they were spectacular so I want to try and repay the favour.